I actually am probably more of a frustrated artist than I am a chemist. These are not well plates. You can tell I got them out of my lab. What I have up here is regular water, 3% uh, peroxide diluted to about 75%. And yesterday, I didn't send these out because I was afraid that we wouldn't have any luck. This is a piece of paper. This is Michael Faraday, by the way, just in case you didn't know. I have some regular watercolor paper underneath here that uh, I put a mixture of two solutions on, painted it up. This is an old transfer, a thermal transfer, you know, because you have them and you don't use them anymore. Ran it through a copy machine, put it on top of the paper treated with the sensitizer, and there's a piece of glass over the top. I just used a foam brush, regular foam brush, like this. I have the two solutions up here. I mixed them together in a dark room, put it on watercolor paper. You can let it dry or not, as the case may be. Take this outside for 15 minutes. It's a great redox reaction and light connection. Yesterday, I took one of these outside for 10 minutes, took a break, went outside 10 minutes. And I'm going to be real careful with this and move swiftly. It is now this blue color. I'm sticking it down in regular water. I made a second one, Michael Faraday, and this is a periodic table. You know, why not? Putting it in water, when you expose this to the sunlight, you have potassium ferrocyanide in there and ferric ammonium citrate. When you mix the two together and the light strikes the iron three, it'll reduce it to iron two, and it'll hook to the ferricitrate ion, and you end up with a compound known as Prussian blue, which was the first printing process that Herschel did in the 1840s. You can, do, you can use anything, you know. You guys know this. I just want to show you a way you could do it in your classroom. Rinsed off this, the bits of solution that were not exposed to the light. So it doesn't have that green color to it anymore. And now I'm going to just dip it down in the peroxide, which should further reduce any of the iron, iron three that didn't react. And you have a real pretty cyanotype.